Okay, so the next section we have the straight and wiry pulses. And you see the, some of them are capitalized, some of them are in title case. The capitalized ones are all complete pulses, meaning we have already included the shape and the jump to it. Okay. okay. Previously, we've been talking about pulse with strange shapes, huh? Up and down, concave, convex, and all those turtle funny stuff. But now let's get back to the normal, the straight, wiry stuff. It seems to be the normal condition for a blood vessel to be. But uh, they still have some different uh, changes in the variety. Like this, we have three. We okay. This one huh? is the purple sheet that oh, you purple. have. Oh, purple. What color? Oh, by the way, the last one, the convex green sheet, Bob made a comment that, uh, you know those, do you want to tell them the comment? <laughs> Basically, we just drawing the shapes of the convex pulses, not just to show you what it looks like, okay? It's not that if you see a bean pulse, that it has to for sure be in the twin position. It could be in any position. It's just for relative comparison of sizes only, all right? Okay, now let's go to the purple, purple sheet. Uh, this is the straight pulse means that the three springs under each finger has equal strength. And this is very, this one is definitely a new invention of Tina and Lily. This is the, the, the real dimension. It may, may not be totally 100% true, but it, it, it's a real good thing for you to understand. And this is the... Uh, what? Okay, let's go over this real quick. Okay, let's start over here. Okay. Pictures are not drawn to scale. Estimated for reference only. Drawn to show the comparison of pulse diameters within the straight wiry pulses. So one. So they're is not the like the convex pulses where, you know, their sun guan is about the size of your finger. If you see an asterisk, under, after the pulse, like these right here, down here, these pulses always appear proximal to the two positions, if you see an asterisk, okay? That, be, that because those pulses for eight extra meridian pulses, we just put it here anyway, for the yeah. comparison. And the, then pulses this, without yeah. the asterisk may appear in any of the Chun Guan Si positions. So what Jimmy just said is these straight pulses could appear in all positions, Chun Guan Si, or in only one position. Okay, mm -hmm. any of these ones can appear in all or just one. So this, this gives you a, a concept of how, how thick the pulse will be. The thick means the diameter, it doesn't mean the, uh, the, the, the layer. So the, the thinnest is the blade, like a knife, like, like a cutting knife. This is the, uh, we're not exaggerating, it really can happen th this way. And there's, there's a roof. I'll explain what the roof is later. And a little bit is this ren mai and become thicker become between its guitar string and the steel wire. It's a little bit thicker, but more it becomes chong mai and tai yang and bigger du mai. And the biggest we call the big mai, big pulse, shao yang. So we broke it up into two groups, okay? The first group on the left here is just the thin and straight pulses. So when we're dealing with thin and straight pulses, we're dealing with very tight and thin pulses, usually constricted due to what? Heat or cold? What do you think? Cold, right? Cold constricts the vessel, so they'll become very tight, very thin, okay? So you have one is the tightest, five the least tight. So from one to five, blade is the most tight and it's the thinnest. Second tightest and thinnest is about 0.5 millimeter. So on a scale of one to five is about a 1.5. And the REN pulse is about 1.25 millimeter, and on a scale of one to five, is about two. So guitar string, everybody knows what a guitar string feels like, right? So that's about two to four. It ranges in tightness depending on how, how tight you wind it, and also basically how cold and how much constriction there is in the body. It could range from two to four. The second category are the thick and straight pulses. So. The thin and straight, you know that it's from cold, constricting the vessel, right? So the thick and straight, what do you think, why do you think the pulse becomes thick now? Now we don't have any more cold, right, conditions. So the possibilities that we're dealing with here, the thick, straight pulses, is usually heat causing the vessel to expand. But it's still a straight vessel instead of a curved vessel. So here you have one to five. One is the thinnest, five is the thickest. So these are the... Um, you know, the, the order, okay. tone channel all the way to brachial. 
three to six. So it's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, oh no, no, up to six. So does that make sense to everybody how this is laid out? Is it difficult to understand? Yes. <laughs> oh. You have to look at this over Spend and over. Spend a again. minute or two. You get it. Okay, something like this. Okay, this is straight straight pause. We are talking about the tightness. If it you put it a little bit longer, okay, then it become tight, right? If it's just about this, it's not tight, it's soft. That means that the, the rebound from underneath is soft or something. And this is thin, the longer, this, the, the tighter you put it, the thinner it becomes. And this is not thin, this is definitely thick. Well, this is too thick for normal pulse, but it, this thin pulse is about the uh, same diameter we, we, we see every day. Something like this. So the tightness is this. This is what we call tight. The tightness means something serious. And the thickness can be like this. And it also can happen that, for example, this is Chun Guan Chi. The diameter can change within three fingers of range. The Chun, maybe a little bit too, too, too big. Huh? The Chun can be soft and thin. Guan Chi can be thick and, and strong, or otherwise. The Chun Guan can be very strong, the Chi can be very thin and weak. Anything is possible. So like this. So, so the, anyway, this is a straight line. That means the rebound on the three fingers are all the same, equally equally uh, appears like this. Okay, this is straight pulse. Of course, you think this is a five vessel. It's supposed to be straight. Not necessarily, but this is the straight pulse, and we're gonna discuss all the possible pathological explanations for them. Huh? Oh. Here's the introduction. Straight pulses describes only the shape now, okay? We're still talking about shape only, with no curvature, neither convex nor concave. Wiry indicates the tension or the tightness of the pulse. And the thin straight pulses are usually tight, and the tightness depends on their diameter. The thinner the pulse, the usually the more tight because there's more constriction. The indication is constriction. So I put a little note here because when we were doing the notes, always you think, okay, thin equals deficiency, back what we learned in school, but erase that, okay? Thin does not equal deficiency. Thin is just a shape because thin and forceful is excess cold causing constriction. Thin and weak is then deficiency. So always think shape and jump, shape and jump. They have to be combined together. But originally, the straight pause is not. We actually, we don't call it straight. We call it shen, wiry pause. Wiry pause is the six, I mean, the uh, uh, one of the five organ pulses it belongs to liver. It's got something to do with Jiayin. Do you know the term Jiayin? Liver. Jiayin means something else. Jie means the end. In means negative. So Jiayin means the, the, the coldest, the darkest time of in, like uh, three o'clock or four o'clock in the morning. The dawn is coming. The sun will rise, maybe. But sometimes it doesn't. If the pulse becomes so weak and wiry, that means the in is too strong. It may be fatal or deadly diseases. So the J in supposed to be contains a little bit yang. So even if it's in the dark night, there's supposed to be some sunshine at the horizon. So what does it mean? The pulse has has to have a little strength. Okay, I've seen, I've I've seen few dying patients in the past. The day or two days before they passed away, I checked their pulses. It's something like Jui. It's no, no sunshine. All in, so weak, wiry, and nothing but coldness. So it just passed away very fast. And this is, and no, no, that's a severe condition. We don't have that every day. This this very interesting straight pulse got something to do the, with the liver, not necessarily the liver organ, but the liver channel. What the channel means? We have a Zhang Xiang Xue Shuo Jiao. There's a 
there's a net, it's network or, or something that uh, says, supposed to be in your book, your textbook, that, that every organ is connecting to many, many other aspects. For example, liver is related to tendons, right? And that's, maybe that's the most useful information here. Because if you see a wiry pulse, that means some tendonitis or tendon tightness is happening. That will cause pain or something. It depends on where the straight pulse appears. Then we have different kind of explanations. But now let's understand the straight pulse is very, just like a, actually we call it a level. You will say, of course the, the pulse is level, what else? It's not, okay? This is the internet, can you see it, webinar? <laughs> This is the level. The Chen Guan Zi has the same rebound, but sometimes it can be this. What's this? The, for, for example, this is the Chun. Chun is higher. Chun is higher, Guan, and lower Chi is even lower. Okay, actually, this is also a normal pulse for a normal person. This is the normal pulse, too. This is normal pulse for a different kind of a normal person, for body type, Sk uh, for skin, skinner. Thin person. Okay. So what what this? What does it mean? Chun Guan Zi. This is not straight pulse. This is called hook. It got something to do with the heart. And sometimes it's like this. This is very common thing in lately. Huh? What this? Chun is lower than Guan and Chi. I mean Chi is supposed to be lower, but it's higher than Chun. That means adrenal problems, some kind of, uh, uh, it's not depression, it's some kind of, no, it's not neural, it's the brain weakness or something. Anyway, this is not depression, this is not, huh? Fight or flight, chronic fight or flight. Fight or flight? Adrenaline. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This is what we call the, this one has been, this guy has been uh, through some frightening condition, scared by something, some, some, some outside pressure. But, uh -huh, yeah, got to yell at by your boss all the time. So he is always situated in a frightening condition, in a working condition. This adrenal is exhausted. That will cause a lot of symptoms. Then the heart is relatively low because it's under tremendous pressure. The brain has been working too hard, something like this. This is called reverse hook. So this is not wiry, uh, it's not level. This is the level, the Chen Guan Zi, with the same strength, okay? So what I'm saying is it might not be all the same. Sometimes it changes. Or sometimes, like we said, the concave, uh, a convex or concave something. And we'll be talking about one pulse here. Chun, Chun and Guan are in the straight, and this, just collapse. Okay? Something like this. That means we call it a step pulse. We'll talk about that later. And, later. and this is the straight. But remember, straight pulse not necessarily, necessarily happen on three positions. Can be only on one. Or here. Or sometimes only on the uh, guan. I'll make a model next time. The guan area like this. Only the level on the guan, chun and chi is deep. Only guan is wiry. What does it mean? Yeah, in the middle jaw, there's a lot of uh, liver fire. It means a lot of stress. That's the uh, duodenum ulcer, the, the stress ulcer. Back to the introduction, the straight and uh, thick pulses basically uh, may or may not be tight, unlike the thin straight ones, and they're indicative of excess heat or inflammation. So he jumped ahead of himself. He was describing the first one, which is the wiry. The shape is straight, Jane. wiry, wiry, drain. So drain is a very sev severe condition. It means the in is, is to the end. So hopefully there will be a yang coming next to it. But sometimes it, it doesn't. The sun, the sun doesn't rise the next day. So that's a deadly condition. But usually we don't see it. As long as there's a, more, there's a little bit of power, then that's fine. This one. Oh. 
But remember, the, whenever there's a, a worry pause, liver is definitely involved. Not necessarily the organ, the emotional condition, the, uh, the tendons, and the, all the taste. Actually, there should be a list for the, for the uh, relation between the, the smell, the taste, the organ, the color uh, to, to one certain organ. Do you have the, the list? Yeah, it's very useful. Come on. So, whenever there's a wide repulse, the, what, what taste is involved? Sour. So, do you know there's an enemy for sour? Spicy stuff is not good for sour. I mean, for, for liver. Yeah. You know, there's an there's a enemy for sugar, for sweet. Huh? Yeah. But, but, I'm sorry. Ah, uh, yeah, yeah, the, yeah, yeah. The enemy, yeah. The, the sour stuff is good for destroying the sugar problem. So that's why they use umei one for diabetes.